This is going to be a bit of a workout, this review video is, especially if I'm going to be lifting this thing up all the time because at 13.2 pounds unscoped, it's a little bit weighty when you're leaning over a table like what I am here in the rat cave. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load and this is the Sabati STR Sport. Now, it's a little bit different to what I usually do. It's more, I don't know, with this big, long, heavy barrel, it's a little bit F-classy, okay? A little bit F-classy. But I just wanted to throw something a little bit different in the mix. And while I'm pumped up after, uh, after moving this thing, I'm going to put the other one on the table so it's basically there. So... <laughs> Sees me doing it in a minute, so check this out. This is another one. Oh yeah, Hydro Dipped. And this is the TLD Red. I don't know whether this is gonna sit right on my table. No, it's gonna cock over. Let me see if I can find something to put underneath it. A little knife box should do it, I think. Is it? Oh, yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Stay, stay. So check that thing out. Right then, let me tell you where I'm at with these Sabatis then. So, these by the way are kindly on loan from Livens Gun Shop. Now, I, the plan was to take them both out, but this one, the TLD Red, unfortunately didn't have a rail on it. They do, and I've got to stress, they do come with a rail attached. Unfortunately, this one, for whatever reason, didn't have the rail on. And after my range day, <laughs> I was then given the rail for it. A little bit late, but never mind. But kind of, well, almost the same rifle, just different, different stocks, basically. Um, this one is more F-class with this real wide uh, four end there you know it's it really is an f classy one um but i just i thought i'll put that on the table just for decoration bit of a big decoration but we're talking about the str sport my god this thing is so so nice i've only used one sabati in the past chambered in 308 by the way both of these are they're available in all sorts of calibers um 65 270 uh i think they're doing with 338 as well seven mil all the sort of gucci calibers that you can you can think of for long range shooting but this thing really really quite impressive let me read out some specs off the uh sabati website so i'm just going to read it how it how it is basically so Bolt action rifle. The trigger is the match three lever trigger. Rifle barrel, cold hammer forged with a multi radial rifling. Uh, this is the STR, STR Sport. I'm sure I had a car that was an STR back in my teenage years. Or was it STI? Or was that something totally different, the STI? Anyway, um, action material is 7075 aluminium alloy. Bolt has three lugs and is chromed steel. As you can see, I'll show you more about that in a minute. Five round magazine. It's a polymer removable magazine and it is AICS compatible. Okay. Is it? Yeah, well, so it says on the website. I'll show you more about that in a minute. Uh, trigger weight 600 grams to 1.3 pounds it was really light the trigger was it was really light uh, we'll measure it in you know the usual fashion i'll get there in a sec let me just read out the specs uh, picatinny rail is supplied uh, like i said spatty mm mrr multi-radial rifling uh, barrel is cold hammer forge like i said muzzle diameter is 22 to 28 millimeter obviously depending on caliber uh where are we stock finish is hard anodizing 
Length, again, depending on caliber and whatnot, uh, overall length, 43.3 inches, okay? Weighing in at six kilos or 13.2 pounds. Wow, what do you make of this thing then? In fact, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move, shall I leave it there? Well, all right, I'll leave it there. I just don't wanna, I don't wanna knock this because it's uh, hydro dipped. I just don't wanna mark it, okay? Right, so what do you think of this thing? It is a little bit different, like I said, to what I'm used to shooting and what I'm used to testing and reviewing. But, you know me, I like to throw all things shooting into the mix. Now, I'm gonna try and avoid holding this thing up to the camera loads. Adjustable stock, all aluminium, okay? It is comfortable, although that bit, the cheek piece is metal, it is comfortable, pretty left hand friendly. I, as you can see in the footage, was shooting this prone. I hate shooting prone, I prefer shooting off a bench. Reason being, I've had surgery on my back and it's, I just find it uncomfortable shooting prone. Excuses out of the way. But you know guys, I'll put myself through pain for you. You know, that's dedication for you. Um, adjustable uh, soft rubber recoil pad can move up and down. Uh, nice big bag rider there, so that is really nice. I didn't really utilize that because I didn't take a bag with me. I should have done really because my little um, my little uh, Coldwell Matrix um, rifle rest was a little bit small for this rifle. Um, I know they extend, I did extend it, but it was sort of interfering with the um, the pistol grip, which is a bit of a pain. So I had to sort of shorten my uh, my rifle rest to sort of accommodate this. Notice you've got a buffer tube here. Obviously it's a bolt action, so the buffer tube is not utilized. So, but it gives you options if you want another type of stock on here. Would you really want another stock on here? Not really, because it's all color coordinated to this rifle. They are available in black, by the way. Um, pistol grip, AR-15 style pistol grip, the standard Sabati one. Uh, it's not soft rubber, it's like a hard polymer. And then you've got um, aluminum trigger guard here. The trigger is amazing. It's absolutely amazing, guys. Um, Magazine is the uh, three shot magazine, and there's your mag magazine release. Go on, then, I need a bit of a workout. I'll just show you. Just pause the video, guys, if you want a closer look, because I'm like leaning forward. Ooh. So, there you go. Oh my god, with a barrel like that, guys, this thing <laughs> it's all barrel. Trust me, it's like a scaffold tube. That barrel is. So looking at the magazines, steel in construction, let's just confirm it with a magnet test. There you go. Very tough, very sleek, and very nice magazines. Three shot, really nice. Um, the thing I was a little bit worried about this rifle, although it is hard uh, anodized, was uh, will you sort of scratch up um, the bottom of the magazine well there you know when you're sort of scraping around to get your magazines in but i don't know that'd probably worry me a little bit i don't know maybe it wouldn't maybe you just put some tape along it i don't know um and then obviously you can see all the chassis here it looks like an arca swiss rail um fitted here but it isn't because you've just got your slot there to fit whatever type of rail you want in. I think they do do them where it is a total uh, Arca Swiss rail, which is really nice. Oh God, this thing is heavy. Notice on the barrel there, it says multi-radial rifling as well. Um, the bolt itself, uh, let's take the bolt out. Let's just flip it over the other side. That there is your bolt uh, release to take the bolt out. Let's take it out, show you. Show you it a little bit better. Riding on top, by the way, is a Hawk scope. I've got a few of these Hawk scopes that I'm running at the minute. I'm just running them on everything from uh, air rifles to center fire. 
really good. I think, what, which one is this? I think this is the Subfrontier. Uh, performed pretty well, to be fair. I'll show you accuracy in a minute. So there's your bolt, big bolt handle. Uh, chrome bolt itself. Ejection on this thing uh, was really quite good. It was like, I was getting 308 brass in my face. It was, it was quite, quite funny actually. Uh, well, it wasn't while it was happening, but I was in enough pain anyway with my back, um, shooting this thing prone. Um, and then I was just getting hit with brass. Oh, why do I do this on camera? Why? There we go. So yeah, that is your bolt. Pretty, it was pretty slick to be fair. Uh, I think this, it's so sort of snug fitting with like zero, zero rattle um, that you've got to sort of hit it square. Probably what does want a bit of oil on it. But yeah, absolutely glorious bolt, glorious. Uh, there's your safety catch there. Nice and positive safety catch. Really, really nice. And then moving along, Obviously, all this is aluminium, magnet test, all aluminium there. The chassis is really, really, just a real sort of tight, um, high tolerance uh, chassis there. Recoil on this thing wasn't too bad. And I was using a fair, fair choice of um, ammunition. That'll bring us on to accuracy, won't it? Let me grab the target. Now, before I mention accuracy, first thing I'm gonna say is, this is a brand new rifle, okay? A lot of the time, as a reviewer, I get demo rifles that have had quite a bit of hammer, they've been running, they've had lots of rounds through them. This was brand new, straight out of the box. With a big barrel like that, this type of rifle, Yes, it would want breaking in before you start looking at accuracy. It would want, you know, one shot, then a clean, and then, you know, all that jazz where you, then a couple more shots, then a clean, and so on and so on, just to really break that barrel in. I did to an extent, but, you know, I was time limited, so I just put it through its paces. So I probably have just about broke this rifle in but you would ideally and whoever buys one of these is going to be interested in some serious long range accurate shooting they're going to break it in anyway and the chances are they ain't going to use factory ammo like what i did they're going to have home loads and they're going to be seriously scientific about their shooting because that's the type of rifle it is that goes for both of them so here is my accuracy shooting prone which i don't like this is 100 yards, just testing MOA. And I've stated on my target, brand new and not broken, okay? This is my results. Now, quite interesting with different ammo. Quite interesting. So, Seller and Bellet, 147 full metal jacket. Let me get you, I'll let, show you the ammo I was using. Was that stuff, okay? I was using that stuff. Yes, I put more than three shots. I've, I was put a number of shots with the one type of ammo. Then I'd do a target, okay? Then I'd do the same again with the next type of ammo, put a number of shots through just to, you know, get the barrel used to that type of ammo. I was fairly scientific about it. Then the next one, uh, so that, yeah, all right, all right. It's not been broken. Guys are going to be like, oh, I should be clover leafing. This rifle is not broken. Okay, this is straight out of the box. It is not broken. You've got to bear that in mind. Plus, it's me shooting. Plus, it's me shooting prone. What more excuses do you want? PPU, cheapo ammo. This was 145 grain. That was on the next target. Okay. Then, then. We move to Seiko Racehead, 168 grain. I've not got the box for that for some reason. 
that was the group with that. Then Hornaday match. What was this? This was 168 grain. Boom. And then I used Federal Premium. And that was, what was that? That was 168 grain. Nice. Okay. Those groups, once the gun is broken and you're using home loads as well, they're going to be like, they're going to be one old groups. Without a shadow of a doubt. With a rifle like this, with a massively heavy barrel, beautiful action and chassis, and not me behind the trigger, they're going to like, those groups are going to be like that big, without a doubt. This is just an unscientific, but kind of scientific. You know what I mean, guys. You know, I don't, I don't give you BS. I just tell you how it is. So yeah, it's that's how that's how it was with me. Okay, it needs breaking in. You know, you need to spend several outings feed, after, after you've broken in, feeding it the right ammo. You know, and or making your own ammo just to get the optimal accuracy out of this rifle and it'll be an absolute laser beam if you get one of these and you get it to that stage let me know because i'd, I'd be really interested to see the results but it's obvious a rifle like these is just going to be superbly accurate without shadow of a doubt shall we give the trigger a pull and see whatever it states on sabati's website is true I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Look at me. I'm not even prepared. I haven't even got my. Um, I haven't even got my trigger pull um, ready. Before I do, I'm going to just move all this ammunition out of the way. It's making me nervous. I do not want to put a round through the rat cave wall because that will upset upset Mrs. Rack and Load, and it'll probably upset my neighbors too so right then let's give this trigger a pull it was glorious uh it was one of those triggers that actually i think on the first shot it took me a little bit by surprise so here we go oh that's one pound 11 ounces maybe i pulled that a little hard i don't know let's give it another go Brace yourselves, drum roll. Oh, got that down a little bit more. Okay, one pound nine. Okay, that is a nice trigger. Single stage. Let me just remind myself how nice that trigger was. Oh, that is a nice trigger. That is a nice trigger. Seriously nice. But yeah, what a beautiful rifle. Really beautiful rifle. If you are into your real long grain stuff, that obviously this ain't a hunting rifle, unless you are Arnold Schwarzenegger and you want to be uh, lump, lugging this thing round. It certainly ain't for that. If you're into your serious target shooting, then my God, what a platform this thing is. These barrels are just insanely, they're just massive. It's literally like a scaffold tube. It really is. Um, let me see if I can, oh God, here we go, here we go. Let's get the, uh, the thread cap off, just to give you an idea of the thickness of this barrel. So just look at the thickness of the, the thread protector. I mean, look at that thing. Seriously, that's a monster barrel, a monster barrel. But my god what a piece of kit this rifle is it's seriously serious seriously is when i can say it um so yeah correct ammo i said correct ammo bad better ammo than factory ammo obviously will be home loads if you know your shizzle when it comes to reloading something i don't do is reload or high-end um match grade ammo you know big bipod shooting comfortably which i wasn't once this is running this thing 
Dude, you, you ain't gonna miss. You ain't gonna miss. Um, back to the stock. As you can see, there is some adjustability for length of pull. Cheek piece does go up and down as well. Uh, you've got, uh, you can actually adjust the cheek piece. It's got, um, obviously that will go up and down. You can move it pretty much every position you want. You can pretty much move this, uh, this thing. So M-lock slots along the fore end as well. And then, like I said, you, there's a, a slot there to fit uh, whatever type of rail you like, you know, depending on what sort of bipod uh, you're running. But wow, what a, what a real nice rifle, guys. Dead impressed with this thing. Love shooting it. It wasn't too bouncy in 308. 308 is usually, um, can be uncomfortable to shoot after a bit, uh, but this thing with its heavy barrel and its overall heavy weight was pretty much soaking up the, uh, soaking up the recoil. But what a glorious rifle, guys. Just something a little bit different. Um, just wanted to throw it out there. Not my usual um, type of rifle that I review here in the Rat Cave. Just look at that dip, guys. Look at that Hydra dip. We've named this one because it's got skulls on it. I don't know if you can see, make out that they're skulls. Fire and skulls. We've, I've actually named this one the Cremator. <laughs> Being an ex Undertaker, we're calling that that one, that one the Cremator. Sabata, you hear, heard it here first. That is the Cremator. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Like I said, just something a little bit different, a little bit uh, unusual to put on the channel. You know, a bit F classy type of stuff, but really, like I said, really enjoyed shooting these. Uh, well, this rifle. Like I said, I didn't shoot that one. It's a bit too nice, really, isn't it, for, for me to shoot. I don't, you don't want me spoiling it. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. That is your rack and load review of the Sabati STR Sport 308. This one is. Many other calibers are available. Check out Sabati's website. If you want some laser beam accurate, which it will be, like I said, once it's running and you've... Uh, you know, you're feeding it the absolute premium ammo um, that that it likes, then you'll have yourself a serious laser beam. Anyway, I'm leaving it at that. Thanks for watching, guys. That is Rack and Load. See ya.